Today's class I am going to teach about uh, ASIC design flow. So what is the expansion of ASIC? Application Specific Integrated Cycle. So it is an abbreviation. So in this ASIC design flow, it has a multiple stage. The first stage is design entity. Second one, logic synthesize. Third one, system partition. Fourth one, pre layout simulation. Fifth one, flow planning. 6th one placement, 7th one routing, 8th one circuit extraction, 9th one post layout simulation. So these are the steps involved in the ASIC design flow. We will discuss one by one. The first step is design entity. So what is design entity? So design entity is the stage where the micro architecture is implemented in the hardware description language like VHDL, HDL, and System Verilog. So, where the micro architecture is implemented in the hardware description language like VHDL and HDL System Verilog, it is called as a design entity. So, what is the abbreviation of VHDL? So, VHDL in the sense very high speed hardware description language. HDL means hardware description language then system very long. So these three languages are called as the hardware description language. The design engineer they can choose any one type of languages and write the design entity. Schematic editor is used for the design entity. So it's very complexity compared to the hardware description language. So the designer move on the hardware description language. It has a two advantages. So first advantage is productivity gain is high one is a, it is a independent. Then come to the next stage. So logic synthesize. So what is logic synthesize? So logic synthesize is the one type of tool. So this tool is provide the netlist. So this tool is provide the netlist. So in this netlist, logical cell description and the actions. We can get the information about logic cell description under interconnections. So it's a netlist. So logic synthesis is the tool. So this tool is provide the netlist logical cell description and the interconnections. The next block is system partitioning. So what is partitioning? So what is the general meaning of partitioning? So partitioning in the sense the whole circuit is divided into small small blocks. It's called as the partition. So here, so the netlist is like this. This netlist is divided into small small block. So it's A block. This one is B block. So in this A block, it consists of uh, three logic cells. In this B block, it consists of four logic cells. So after system partitioning, the netlist is divided into two block. First block may be called as A and second block is B. So this system partitioning is held to place the component and route the component very easy. So it's a purpose of system partition. Then come to pre-layout simulation. So what is simulation? Simulation in the sense uh, the design is implemented. Before implement the design in hardware, first verify the result, whether the design is right or wrong. Verify the result, whether the design provides the correct output or error output. So once the result is correct, there is no issue in the design entity, logic synthesis and system portion. Suppose any error occur. So any error occur in the pre-layout simulation, we can modify the program, then check the logic synthesis, system partitioning, then come to pre-layout design. So once again, verify the result. The result is correct, there is no issue in this design entity, logic synthesis and system partitioning, then directly come to flow planning. So what is flow planning? So with one example, I will clearly explain flow planning. Suppose I need to construct one building. So it's my land. I need to construct one building in the land. So what is the first step? So first step is 
uh, getting the blueprint so floor planning so it's a hall so hall need more space then this one is kitchen then this one is puja room so in this building i make the three rooms first room is hall so hall need a more space then kitchen need a small space and puja need a very small space so likewise in this asset design the floor plan is locating the logic cells so it's a chip so in this chip arrange the location of a and b so arrange the location of a and b so in this a a carry three logic cell in this b stage a carry the four logic cells so here this a logic cell is placed here this b stage is placed here so determine the size of stage a and stage b so which one is very small size that is carried out here a and here place the b so it's a floor planning then come to placement so placement in the sense fix the exact position of the component so it's called as the placement so let us consider a block so in this a block it carries the three logic cells the corresponding component is placed here so exact position of the component so it's called as the placement so it's named it called as block then come to routing so routing in the sense just making the interconnections between logic cell and block so making the interconnections so it's called as the routing so after routing then come to circuit extraction so find the resistance and capacitance between the interconnections so determine the resistance and capacitance between the interconnections so that's called as a circuit extraction then come to post layout simulation so in this post layout simulation verify the result with the load so verify the result with the load whether it produces the correct output or wrong output so it's called as a pre layout simulation so once the correct output is produced this design is implemented in the hardware so it's a simple concept of asic design flow i hope you understand the concept very well if you are watching first time in my video kindly subscribe and support us to make lot of videos thank you